Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Akim, miss your brother here, Yakanin. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Wakakwadash, Baraka Dum, Koholoyim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Wakakwadash, Baraka Dum. Okay, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting in this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I like to say Shalom. Okay, hey, today's lesson is just about how it's not always about having to win. Okay, but it is about leveling up. And sometimes, in order to level up, you do have to lose. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with losing. Okay. What's wrong is if you stay down from that loss, you never bounce back. You know what I mean? Because what did the scripture say? The scripture say a just man falleth seven times, but he shall rise up again. But the wicked falleth, falleth in the mischief. Okay? Meaning that, you know, that faith is going to get you back up. If you got faith in the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, then you know he's going to pick you back up. But you can't just rely on him to do that. You got to rely on yourself to be able to pick yourself back up too. You got to learn to be able to pick yourself back up when shit get bad, man. You can't rely on everybody in the world. You can't rely on your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your daughter, your brother, your sister, your best friend to always pick you up, to always be there. And even the brethren, man. Yeah, we got brethren around us, you know, iron sharpens iron and whatnot and stuff like that. But you can't always rely on somebody to be able to pick you up. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to be able to pick yourself up. Not sometimes, most of the time for real. Most of the time, you got to be able to pick yourself up, man. In this world, in this truth. Okay? It's about bouncing back from the losses that we take. Because it ain't always about winning, man. It ain't always about winning the day. It ain't always about win, 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 win. You know, sometimes losing is good because it, it, it'll humble you. It, it'll keep you hungry. You know, someone that just keeps winning kind of gets complacent, kind of gets lazy, and kind of uh, doesn't go as hard as someone. It's like that, that, that person that's on the top of the hill. He don't go as hard as the person that's climbing up the hill. You know what I mean? Because you, you you busting your ass to climb up it. When you're on the top, it's, it's really no... You're not really going through the same obstacles as you would as if you climb into the top. You know what I mean? So we have to understand that it, this, this in this truth, it comes with both wins and losses. And we have to take them on the chin and keep it moving no matter what. I always tell people, you know, I don't, you know, once you come in this truth and you're renewed, you don't, you don't live for the acceptance of the world. You don't live for the acceptance of the people. Like, yeah, it's cool when someone give you a compliment, you know, that's cool. But like, we don't, we don't let that stuff make us. It's, and it's in the same vice versa when someone talks bad about us or, or, or as a hater or something like that. Hey, you know, you, you got to have both. Yahweh Shai had haters and he was the perfect man. You know what I mean? So we walk in that same glorious image as, as him and expect to have a, a, a scoffers and haters and people to not like you, but also expect for people to big you up and people to speak positive about you. Because it's, you know, that's both sides, man. You know what I mean? That's just how it works. That's just how it is. You know what I mean? But you have to be able to have that have that control and be able to distinguish that. We can say it as much as we want, but you have to actually, when it when when, it, when push comes to shove, you have to actually be able to have that. Have that mindset. No matter what. Throughout everything. You know what I mean? So, hey, brothers just gotta understand that sometimes it's about losing too. But through that loss, that makes you better. All right? Going through them fire, going through that trials and tribulations that the Lord put us through. No matter what it be, might be, man. You might just be dealing with heavy demons, man. You know what I mean? The Lord just might be putting certain demons on you, man. Or, hey, he's either trying to get you back online or he's trying to just, hey, judge you for all what you have done. And we all, we all guilty of the judgment that we receive, man. Ain't none of us better. Ain't none of us too good for judgment. Ain't none of us too good to get humble. You know what I mean? It says the meek shall inherit the earth. You know, that meek word is, is cold for uh, for the elect. The elect, the saints. You know what I mean? The saints are going to take the kingdom. The elect first and foremost. You know what I mean? So that meek shall inherit the earth. You know, the lowly, the humble. You know what I mean? And them, them losses keep us balanced. You can't just have all winning and all losses. You know what I mean? You have to have a balance. And that's how the Lord is. The Lord is balanced. Because a false balance is abomination. You know what I mean? So it's, it's important to both have uh, wins and losses. You know what I mean? Because they, they they both help you out. You know what I mean? In the end. But really, ultimately, it's the losses that make you better. Because when you lose, you can sit back and dialect and dissect things and see how you can what you can improve on to do better the next time. You know what I mean? When you win, you don't really... 
you're not really checking for the same things when you win things. When you when you have you're not really checking for your flaws because in your mind you are you are one. I mean, but when you lose, you go back and be like, all right, well, how did I lose? What did I do? What did I do wrong? What can I do better? You know what I mean? You start to self-examine yourself more. You start to look at things deeper. You start to look at the little details better and stuff like that. And that's why it's important to also understand that losses are important, just like wins are important. Because the losses are the things that get you back on track, that make you better, that better you up, that level you up. And best believe we're all going to take losses in this walk. Best believe that. Whether that be a loss of, you know, worldly possessions, or that be a loss of, you know, a family member, or, you know, hey, anything, man. Best believe that losses are going to occur. But it's about how you respond to those losses that are going to keep you even keeled, that are going to keep you going forward and still pushing forward. You know what I mean? That, that, I, I really think that wins and losses thing is kind of like a worldly mentality. You know what I mean? People are American mentality. And it's just, people are so hell-bent on winning. But, you know, losing is what makes you better. Losing is what makes you progress. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So just, brothers have got to understand, it's a, you know, it's about just at the end of the day, keeping that faith. Whether you winning or whether you losing, you gotta still keep keep the faith. You still gotta maintain the faith. You still gotta be strong minded. You still gotta be sober. You still gotta be vigilant. You still gotta move like a sheep amongst wolves. You still gotta move as harmless as a dove, as wise as a serpent. No matter what, all right. Don't let a little bit of loss and wins from the world uh, throw you off your path, that righteous path. You know what I mean? Hey, so with that, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Mokak, Wadash, Barak, Adam. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect. Shalom.